The first thing they tell you on the Dolphin Watch Tour is not to have high expectations. But it's turned out to be a good day for these visitors. It was really lucky to see two pink dolphins and they're playing around in the water. It was, it was so fantastic, so beautiful. I was so surprised when I saw them like jumping from the water. It's a surprise for everyone on the boat, even the tour guide. Nowadays, dolphins appear to be quite scary of boat traffic and they keep a dust from the mud. But uh, for this morning sighting, I mean, they, I mean, they get quite close to the boat, yeah. It's very real, yeah. Pink dolphin numbers have dropped more than 60% in the last decade. Conservationists say it's mostly due to major building projects in Hong Kong waters. They point out the 50-kilometer bridge connecting Hong Kong with Macau and Zhuhai, which cuts through areas with the highest density of dolphins in the Pearl River Delta. And they fear plans to expand Hong Kong's airport would drive away what's left of the dolphin population. This area is known as a dolphin corridor. This is where they travel through to feeding spots and cleaner waters. But this is also the proposed site for the airport's third runway. Construction would involve dumping thousands of tons of sand to reclaim 6.5 square kilometers of sea area. The Dolphin Conservation Society says they have consulted the government on the airport plans, but their proposals have been ignored. They are considering legal action despite the government's promise to build a marine sanctuary after the runway is finished in 2023. Can they survive for the seven years of construction period and come back later and enjoy that marine sanctuary? I think it's a huge question mark uh, and I, I think it's very unlikely that the dolphin will be able to uh, uh, hang on for that long. The dolphins have been swimming in these waters for centuries. On the sidelines as Hong Kong transformed from a fishing village to one of Asia's biggest commercial hubs. But they have paid the price for the city's growth with less and less space to call home. Divi Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.